almost in belief that Vikings are going to win because they, they were they were so far off on the last one, you know? Like, everybody going for V1. But, no, I, I, in realness, I'm really excited for this one. I think we've got our Dark Horse facing off against one of the teams that initially Liquid were looking to be, maybe even the favorite. So it's going to be one hell of a brawl, that's for sure. That it is. And it looks like we're going to have the players coming out real soon, taking positions to get this brawl underway. I am so damn ready for this. Let's get him out here. I'm, I'm curious. We're going to see some interesting walkouts. No, no, we're keeping it, keeping it vanilla here. OK, thanks, no, guys. This, this, this is the professional side. This is they're, they're all stone cold killers. Like no one's mucking about anymore. This is the elimination game for both of these teams. As said, we're almost looking for that like top three, top two spot. I think that's the goal for both of these squads. So going out here, I'm, I'm not going to say it's unacceptable, but I think both teams will be incredibly disappointed, especially considering how much work we know has gone in here. And well, for Vikings, we actually know that coming into this, they almost kind of spoke about this as a match where they came to EU. They felt a little bit uncomfortable initially, and they've said, you know what? We're going to go back to our Brazilian style. We're going to go back to the roots of our nation and try and take it through that way. So I'm expecting some more very aggressive plays. I think we saw that especially versus X10, some of the ascent madness where they were just aggressively pushing through mid and almost just looking to straight up brawl to box their opponents. So I think they're going to try and put the pressure on Liquid. And you know what? I, I think the veto, I'd be surprised to see anything other than Icebox and Split going out of the pool because they are the perma bands. But I, I guess we could at least look at the order the other maps are chosen. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we know it's Icebox and Split gone. I think everyone at home was uh, vibing with that as well. But coming into the picks for Vikings, they've got a wide open door and where they want to take it. And Ascent is what they're going to start this fight on. Yeah, interesting. It's a strong map for them, no doubt. But it is also one that I think Liquid are incredibly comfortable on. In fact, when we look at them within EMEA, they were flawless. They, they had a single loss here, of course, which I think was a, a bit of a surprise for everyone. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going to now get them choosing out Haven, a map where they've changed how they play it quite significantly. And although it went incredibly well in EMEA, it, it wasn't exactly fantastic when we've seen it so far in this tournament. And then we finally get a bind. I, I know that uh, Pansy's been disappointed that she hasn't got to see much of this map, but you know what, Pansy, if it gets to three, uh, there's a bind on the cards. <laughs> At least there's an upside there. You know, when we talk about Ascent, I'm quite interested uh, in Beautiful. Vikings picking that because when you look back at how, Tom, is that you? You on the screen? How how's this happen? How, you got I, I to Iceland? Couldn't, I couldn't pull off that look. <laughs> I love it. Now you, you've inspired Ryan him. You've inspired Link. <laughs> it's Ryan Central. Um, but here's the thing for Vikings, right? Ascent is not a map that I'm tremendously confident in them because, like, you think about X10. Okay, they won it. It was an OT that they won that. And then when you go back to the game, game before that, it was Sharks over regionally in Brazil's and Challengers that they actually lost this map recently maybe hasn't been so hot but we obviously know that these teams have put in a lot of work and we've only seen that one map out of them here at masters so maybe something new to be brought to the table but what i expect to see is going to be heads up duels on those phoenix battles because we've seen liquid adopt to playing the phoenix on this map and vikings of course they love it yeah i think in most cases we are looking to see all oh my god 